2023 is going to be a tough year in real estate in a lot of markets. You want to hear about the top 10 markets that are going to not only have more sales, but home price appreciation. Stay tuned in this video. I'm going to go over realtor.com's 10 hottest markets for 2023 and give you my take. All right, Matt, the mortgage guy, residential mortgage broker licensed across the country. If you want to connect me and my team, go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. We'll be in touch. We can do loans all over the U.S. So if you're in these markets that we're going to discuss and you want to get yourself pre-approved, get that process started, let us know. We're more than happy to help. So um, I think we all know and we've all heard the markets that saw crazy growth in 20 and 21, Boise, Idaho, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Austin, Texas, some of the Florida markets, some other California markets uh, are, are not going to have uh, more home price depreciation in 2023. More of them are expected to see home price depreciation, but that's not all markets, right? Uh, Realtor.com did this. I'm going to go through it. They talked about the 10 real estate markets that are going to dominate in 2023, both uh, more sales and um you know, home price appreciation, meaning the prices there will go up, right? Most markets are going to see the opposite, even if it's a small depreciation, right? There's going to be 10, 15% less sales happening, less action, um, you know, for a multitude of reasons, but mostly because people are locked into low interest rates. They're not incentivized to move. There's no foreclosure boom. So there's just not enough inventory to have more transactions happening. But more importantly, for I think people to think about is, um, in, in the average market, I've seen negative 4%, negative 5% is kind of an overall home price depreciation in 2023. These markets are going to see home price appreciation. At least that's what's, um, uh, the forecast, right? So, um, this mark, this article starts out as mortgage interest rates have soared, making purchasing a home significantly more expensive buyers have largely disappeared from the market, right? Demand's falling off a cliff. They ain't lying. Um, it's, it's not, they don't want to close, but they can't, right? And, th and there's a difference between willing and able. Um, some are willing, but not able because they don't qualify. And then there's also a bucket, and I talk to these folks every single day, that are able and they qualify, but they look at a $4,600 a month mortgage payment and they say, no thanks. Um, so home sales are down. Prices have come down, um, but there's some markets, and this is what this article is about, um, affordable markets where sales increase and, and home prices are continuing to increase, the top housing markets of 2023, according to um, this Realtor.com survey and their chief economist, Danielle Hale. Right, they didn't overheat during the COVID nineteen pandemic like the Austin, Texas. That's the one everyone points to, um, and so they've got solid footing and more room to grow. Without further ado, let's take a look see Lou. Top ten markets two thousand twenty three Realtor dot com. I'll link this down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. And before we jump into it, I just want to show you and 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 make sure you understand what these things mean. Two thousand twenty three sales growth year on year. This is what they're projected um, number of sales. And then there's price growth. This is what they project how much prices are going to increase, right? So if there's uh, whatever the number is, 100,000 sales in a certain market, they expect in 2023 there to be 106,500 if it's 6.5% sales growth, more homes being sold. And price growth is the house costs 200,000 this year. If we see eight and a half percent price growth, it costs 217,000 a year later. Combined growth, I don't even know why this is here, to be honest. I don't know if this matters, but I guess for this uh, research and for this stat, it is. Because really, sales growth could be important. Price growth is really what um, is going to separate these markets from the other ones that are staying flat or decreasing in value. 
um, mostly because they need to get back towards reality, those markets that overheated and went up too fast. So Hartford, uh, uh, Connecticut, 8.5% price growth is expected. El Paso, Texas, little border town, 5.4% price growth projected. Louisville, Kentucky, 8.4. Look at Worcester, Massachusetts, um, 10.6% price growth. Buffalo, New York, 6%. Augusta, Georgia, it's a popular one. I know a lot of people want to move to Augusta, Georgia, 5.7. Grand Rapids, um, Wyoming or Michigan, I guess it overlaps, 10%. That's a big one, right? Um, and we'll look, we'll look at the data down below, uh, look at specifics of these markets and, and what kind of home prices you'll find there and some other analysis. It's pretty cool. Um, when we'll, we'll scroll through that here. Columbia, South Carolina, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Toledo, Ohio. And, um, you know, they're saying that sales growth overall United States going to be down 14% next year. I've seen 16% was Redfin's estimate. Um, less homes and less transactions going on in 2023. They're projecting price growth of 5.4% overall in the U.S. as an average. That's probably like pretty optimistic compared to most models and most things I'm seeing that have this number closer to zero. And, and really, this is probably the high part of the band, 5% home price appreciation, and then negative five to negative 10% home price depreciation is the bottom part of it. So relatively flat for all intents and purposes for prices uh, in 2023. All right, let's, let's take a look at these um, markets because it's, uh, um, it's cool to see, right? Like 417 is the national median home price. And these markets are, are, are mid-sized markets with much lower prices. That's why they got a little bit of room to grow, right? Hartford, Connecticut is 372, not like drastically below that median, but it's, it's you know, a good, good 50 grand below the median um, to buy something at Hartford, Connecticut. Um, talks about uh, being in the insurance capital of the world with Aetna, Hartford, Cigna, all headquartered there. People are coming from out of state and, uh, you know, prices are still attractive and uh, slowly increasing. So um, some agent co context in there about, you know, people are still moving here, yadi, yadi, yadi. Um, El Paso, Texas, really affordable, right? Median uh, price of 290. It's uh, in West Texas. Texas is a pretty darn big state um, bordering Mexico. Um, cool stats in here too that I read. Um, it's obviously got some, some U.S army um, bases and whatnot, humongous percent of cash buyers, 40% um, purchase using all cash, which any market that's affordable, you'll see more of that, right? Because more likely to have cash buyers in a market where you can buy a house for 160 or 180 than you are to have in California or New York where home prices are a million dollars. Um, a quarter of these also being VA loans. U.S. Department of, of VA loans. And one, it's near an Air Force base, so that makes sense. And two, um, VA loans are a great loan for those who qualify, right? Those who uh, have earned their right to use what is what a lot of folks in the mortgage industry consider the best home loan out there. It's just that not everybody qualifies. Not everybody's earned that. Uh, buyers looking for a deal, check this out. You can you can buy a, a four bedroom, two bath with a carport for 141, 588. Pretty sweet, right? All right. On to Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I think my buddy Nate Fain has some people there. 290,000 uh, median price there. Largest city in the state. Home to Kentucky Fried Chicken and the Kentucky Derby. Um, so if nothing else, they got that, right? Um, manufacturing center. Um, and they're still growing, right? Um, expect to see 5% more sales in 23. And, ho and home prices continue to go up, which there's room to go up when when the home prices are so affordable. All right, you got um, Massachusetts, which you know actually has a home median home list price of 
above the median. Um, but it's close enough to ultra expensive Boston, right? That this is kind of like the Sacramento to the San Jose, San Francisco, Santa Clara Bay area, right? Like we're a much more affordable option here in Sacramento, Worcester, um, or however the heck you say that is the affordable alternative to, to Boston, Massachusetts, right? Where, um, their median price is 739, 900. Holy moly. Seems expensive, but you know, come to Bay area in California, that'll look like a screaming deal. Um, so next up Buffalo, New York, 239. Why does no one want to live in Buffalo? Or why is it so cheap? Is it just cold? Is it just sitting, sitting along, uh, the Canadian border, just snowing year round? Um, oh, it's been, it's on, it's on a revitalization kick, right? So they're going up three to 5% a year, the home prices. Um, and, um, budgets increasing. All right. Things have slowed right now. Probably there's probably five feet of snow. I don't know anything about Buffalo, New York, but it's probably snowing. Anyhow, they're projecting prices going up and more sales. Good for Buffalo, New York. Um, Augusta, Georgia. I hear a lot about Georgia. People love them some Georgia. Um, I know that uh, um, I've got people reaching out to me looking in Georgia. Augusta, Georgia seems to be a spot that people um, want to buy. Realtor.com recently named uh, named it one of the cheapest places in America to buy a home. Um, yeah, the Masters Tournament is in Augusta, Georgia. So any golfers know um, know that. Um, we got Kristen Morgan out in Georgia, great loan officer. It can take care of you all throughout the state. But, um, anyhow, it looks like they're seeing continued growth, um, in their market. And I think it probably continues, right? When you've got, uh, a median list price of 318, there's room, uh, to the upside. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I think this is where my grandma's from. $358,000 median home price. Wow. Expecting home prices to go up by 10% in 2023. I wonder why. Why? Um, known for its brewery scene. Um, all right. We got one dude saying he's got eight new buyers. That's that's not enough to tell me their home prices are going to go up by 10%. Um, a lot of parents of grown children moved to Grand Rapids to be closer to their grandchildren local and first time buyers. I mean, what else can you tell me uh, would be a reason for them to see 10% home price appreciation? I'm curious now, right? Um, all right, we gonna see Columbia, South Carolina, 300 grand. Affordable means room to the upside. Um, located near a military base. Interesting how a lot of these are, you know, they've got the stability of a, of a military base and, and some VA buyers. So they got the military base, the university, um, and low home prices keeps the housing market strong. So yeah, 14 half percent are VA loans and 15% with FHA loans, which both of those loans are going to see an uptick in 2023. So maybe that's part of it, right? Some of these markets are going to see more um, government loans um, and an ability to purchase with those loans could could drive demand in those markets. Could be a thing. All right, Chattanooga, Tennessee, all over Tennessee. I got people buying, um, you know, Nashville, uh, Chattanooga, uh, and it's it's a popular place, right? For sure. Um, it's getting up there though. Chattanooga, look, approaching. 400 grand for median list price, um, revitalization. Um, all right, move in ready, three bedroom, one and a half bath for 230. Sweet, I wonder what that thing would rent for. 1400 bucks, 1500 bucks. If you're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, let me know. Toledo, Ohio. Oh man, I don't wanna talk smack to my buddy Kyle Seagraves. Uh, shout out to him and win the house you love on YouTube. But um, who the heck wants to live in Ohio? Um, my buddy Breon Price, my buddy John Bauman, they're doing lots of loans in Ohio. So I guess I guess people do want to live in this state after all. 
Median list price of 161. Set me up. I can uh, I can handle that home price. That's that's affordable. Slowed down since the rush. There's still buyers out here. The phones are still ringing. A third of the homes are all cash. That makes sense because they're relatively inexpensive. Um, backlog of buyers with lower interest rates. Investors. Um, so between it being affordable for investors and then a second thing, which I think it just came to my mind, first time home buyers that utilize government loans more than like other home buyers are seeing that in this market that's less competitive, they're able to compete, whether that's an FHA, a USDA, a VA, um, the lower down conventional, not having to do this appraisal gap and all the other stuff that's going on. I think that um, that might be what's driving some of these more affordable, affordable markets. But let me know what you think. Um, here's the 10 markets that at least realtor.com um, thought were on the come up. So i um, interested to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. If you want mortgage real estate videos, you're on the right channel. Um, check the channel for all kinds of videos, whether it's mortgage products, whether it's what's happening in mortgage rates in 2023, you can find those uh, videos all over the channel here, here, and here.